Hey, hey, y'all. Um, back trying to stay consistent. Hope I'm not too smudgy. Um, heading off to the gym this morning because I'm a little late because I had an early deadline for voiceover work that was due. So I had to wake up early and get that done. So now that the voiceover is out the way and a few other auditions, I'm gonna head off to the gym a bit later than normal. And I wanted to come on and talk to you and remain consistent as promised. Um, about, um, I wanted to talk to you about rejection because it's very, very real. And this kind of ties in with faith and acting. As I was kind of, you know, sorting through my, my uh, to-do list and looking at my auditions that needed to be turned in, so I kind of keep a spreadsheet, right, of pretty much every audition I do, whether it's a voiceover audition, whether it's a virtual audition for acting, whether it's just a submission with a, a demo reel that I already have. A demo reel is basically um, kind of a, a snippet of your work that you can show people ahead of time so they can kind of really... Um, look at your work before they even decide if they want you. Sometimes you can get booked off of a demo reel. So, I submitted those things. I looked at all of the, pretty much every single one that I've done in the last month up until now. So I'm at about 102. So I'm trying to get in at least, I would say between three and four a day and now that it's a new month, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it. I'm doing inventory. So I'm looking to see like, okay, out of how many of these rejections have I gotten a yes? And um, that's tough. I know a lot of people are not actors, so kind of you can kind of have a sneak peek into, you know, the, the faith it takes to keep getting rejected on a daily basis imagine you having a nine to five and every single day you're going to compete with a thousand people to keep your nine to five job every day and it's it's um it can be very stressful because there is no there's no security in it and of course it's it's a decision that that i've made and a decision that a lot of other people have made to be actors so it's rightfully so that we're this is something that we've expected this is something we've taken into account but it doesn't remove the fact that it it really tests your faith because if you just look in the bible and you see a lot of the characters in the bible have been rejected i mean like take david for example david was rejected by his family because they didn't believe that he was you know he he was of the out, or outer appearance to be accepted and to be looked at as someone that can that can fight and he was rejected in that sense and so being rejected by your family can be a painful sting and then um you know you're rejected by strangers meaning that like okay you're auditioning and these people don't know you you know they don't know anything about you except what you present to the world or what you present in the script that they give you so it's very tough being rejected by people that really don't have an idea of genuinely who you are so it's um it can test your faith because also in in the you know the fit you know your faith in i'm doing all this work and it, it i'm trying to present as best as I know how to uh, to fulfill a job opportunity or to fulfill um, say for instance a narration of some sort and it might not seem very important to the average person but if you really think about it deep down inside of a lot of the programming or inspirational television or even movies that you've seen the ones that you really have sought out to you know pay a certain amount of money to go to the movies to see or whether it's just to sit at home and watch it on 
a YouTube or a Hulu, you have a story of a maybe an actual human being that's in that that's being portrayed in that film. So it's reality because in a sense there's a lot of people that have inspired us or somehow have been some sort of a motivation for some things that we started in our lives. So actors have I guess that unique gift to have an opportunity to affect other people's lives in the sense that they may never ever see those people that they affect. It can just be through a representation uh, on screen or perhaps in a training video or something but you may never ever meet that person but your representation in video or on voice will help to inspire that person to achieve a goal or to get fit or to look into getting help with depression or suicide so it, it, it's not just always for entertainment value it actually can impact people because we're so impacted by what we see in front of us especially on television that sometimes it can be so real to someone that doesn't have you know anyone to actually talk about their problems with because a lot of people don't talk about their problems because of just what I'm saying they feel like if they speak about their problems they'll be judged or rejected based off of them being an imperfect human being and we all know on social media everyone wants to appear very perfect so for me I, you know I, I don't know I just kind of always been a person like you know this is me hey you know I have natural hair you know um, on the, my first video I didn't wear any makeup I mean this is pretty much who I am it's 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 yeah I can look anyway I'm an actor that's the nature of being an actor and you can get makeup and hair and change into a whole different person but a lot of times people really avoid people seeing them for who they really are unadulterated no makeup it kind of reminds me of um, a young Levis Van Zant Fix My Life where she has some of the people or the individuals when they're going to kind of reveal things about themselves she tells them to take off all their makeup because it's all it's you know it's it's nature that we want to re present the best version of ourselves to the public because of judgment or because of you know us wanting to appear I guess a little bit more perfect or the best representation of ourselves it's like when you go out on a date you know no one tells you all the negative things about themselves they 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 sing their praises they they give you the best version of themselves so all of that to say is that rejection is hard to face when you're always uh, being judged on whether you're good enough but faith is what comes in and lets you know that no matter what the outside world thinks of you you're accepted by God and that's tough because we we want someone on earth that kind of represents God to kind of confirm those things to us but we really don't need that confirmation we only need that confirmation from God that we are accepted I mean I can I have thousands of rejections thousands of auditions and rejections and rejections and no's and and it, 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 it weighs on you because you're saying, well, Lord, how much more do I have to, to do in order to get that big break or that, that, that role where I can be seen uh, for, for who I am and I can represent a character that I feel comfortable representing that is, um, is a boom. It is a surplus. So it's, a, it's a positive toward what I'm pushing to. It's a positive representation of uh, of black people, a positive rep representation of, of females. And um, you may not always have that luxury because when you're really grinding, some of those those jobs are not the, how can I say this, it's not the, the pinnacle roles that you, you would select because you're still kind of building your way up. You're building your way up. And uh, you kind of like have to do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do where you can be more selective with with the roles that you take and I try to be selective in the roles that I take comparatively when I when I first started out um, so it's also I believe rejection I know probably you've heard this before rejection is sometimes protection because you know 
some things are just not meant for us so us not being able to get those things is kind of God protecting us because he knows we're probably not ready um, for that specific thing or that that specific thing can be destructive to us so for me it's like things that I thought that I was ready for now that you know I kind of matured in this stage of life I have life experiences I have you know the meat and potatoes of life to, to, to bring to a situation whereas though before I was a bit naive I wasn't really experienced in things of the world to have the emotional fortitude to, to, to play certain roles to do certain things to understand not only in a physical perspective but also in a spiritual perspective how how things are manifesting in, in, in front of you because we can just look at something for black and white and say oh that's that but as you mature especially in Christ you can see the spiritual aspect of things and how certain environments can be a detriment to you and certain environments can actually pull you down and, and, and really take you to a place that if you're not prayed up that 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 can actually uh, take take you out. It can actually put you in a place that's farther from God, and you, you really would wonder how did you get here. And God kind of protects us in that way that some things we we don't need to stumble on and try to you know figure out on our own and and wind up in a you know in a pothole. So a lot of times God protects us with rejection. And then he also, uh, he helps us to rely on him in rejection too because it can push you closer closer to God in prayer because I'm like, God, like, oof, it, it ain't easy, you know? It's not easy. And if you, if you think about it, I guess we as female actors understand now a little bit more what it's like to be a male because males that date have to approach a woman. They have to try to see if that woman's interested and he and he has to face possible rejection so as female actors um gosh we face that every single day of our lives so it really takes faith to know that no matter what i do um no matter how hard I work, I still have to have the faith in God to know that some things I can't work for. Some things are just the favor of God. And no matter how many times I get rejected, faith tells me, keep pushing because God does not want you to fail. He wants you to learn the life lessons of perseverance the Bible scripture that says perseverance must finish its work so we may be mature not lacking anything he wants us to learn trusting him because some things we can't work for I can't make my breakthrough happen I can't make people choose me only God can affect people's decisions and even still he's given us free will but he's in control he's sovereign he can turn things in our favor and he can make circumstances uh, you know turn out for our good because all things work together for the good of those who love God and called according to his purpose and sometimes it doesn't feel like that gosh it doesn't feel like that I was not feeling like that this morning when I looked at the list of all the auditions I did and then from those how many I got called back to, for a second audition for it, it 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 had me questioning it had me questioning it's like what am I doing this for like is this what I really want and it says yes you really want this because you've been this is what you wanted to do and you have to take the good with the bad and it's not about forcing yourself to eat or face rejection it's about learning and growing from each and every experience that you've had how did you feel when you submitted that audition did you feel like that was the absolute best that you can do 
Yeah, and sometimes I say, yeah, I felt like that was the absolute best. Then you can walk away knowing that you did your best and that you have to move on and continue to do your best. And the breakthrough will happen. So I'm at the gym now, so I just wanted to, to just stop in and, and give you that word of encouragement because it's not easy. It's not easy. And we all face rejection. But God is helping me to use my experience to maybe reach out to somebody else and encourage them. Because I'm like, God, this has to have a purpose. And um, just to, 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 to wrap things up, that's my purpose. Is My number one calling and my, my spiritual calling is... It's teaching that's one of my spiritual gifts so using whatever life lessons I had I just wanted to be able to share and teach and um, we can grow together so I hope y'all are blessed and I'll talk to you soon bye